Sveiki visi čia žymėrmai, nes ir šiandien aš žymėtar vieną Reza Redemption tų epizodą Baigės su žaidimas, nu jau pasiūmė jį atsiliu Kiek suprantu dabar Dar tik apie lūgas beliko, jei varom dabar susitikti su Sadie Adler What? Ah, there. What the hell? Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had many problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hellbent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. I got on the one. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Okay. Oh, what? Return to work, but I'm not excited to stick. Okay. Don't need to go back to the salary. Then. Nice. Then what? Okay, check out this. Okay. What? What do we need to do? Okay. Then what? Purchase. Ah, yeah. Daliau darysim turbūt tos pačius maždaug darbaš. Tik tai šį kartą vienas. Ok. Na, pick up. And then drop. Pick up. Lema, vis reikam vis paudžio kažkada. I don't know why. And a drop. And uh, pick up. And a drop. No, okay. And we worked, and worked, yes.
few months later. Well, that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Okay. Go to Geddes' house. Let's get some ranger's wisdom, yes. Excuse me. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. No, I'll just get him. Pow! Yeah, I'm right, right here. <sighs> <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own. So I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Nice. There's a dandler at Sarando. Here, tumble A. What the hell? Okay. Too 
Damn it. Okay, Bangaroa Mishkin at you. With mission complete. Okay. Thanks. I guess. Oh fuck. Go to say the end, I'll try on this number. I didn't do it. Real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You you killed Feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly, and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, oh it's legal, and usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. Gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Okay. Sounds easy. Hell is your problem. We got a bit of a ride. I know. No. Okay, follow Shady. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him. Uh, about your back? Okay. We always say it. If we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. Huh. Uh -huh. This country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Okay. Oh, 
welcome to strawberry nice All the good. You uh, you seen a fella, a fella from New York, bald guy? Yeah, a few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk, but he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's uh up in room three. What the picture? I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Yes, it's on my potato. What what are the odds? What the fuck? Okay. There's not a super truck actors now, it's quite shall Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a <laughs> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! <laughs> that friend Stamina man you never get it Tas, kur niekaip nepasivyti, ne, ne, neis man. God damn. Come on. There we go. Say this horse, okay. Where shall I send the money? I oh. ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Okay. Money. We are going to the AA quest, I guess. 
Okay, here we come. Look at this. Damn it. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? I don't know what the hell is. Maybe it's not us. What the hell? Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. That old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, yeah. Which folk? Mr. Geddes. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Okay. Squatters, you say, huh? Goddamn. Okay, I've got shot on this. Alright, should prep up. Okay. No worries. What's the reason? So, I know what Bad luck for you, my friend. Okay, I've got a chance to press now that was on. Territory. So, who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna... Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! There ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner! Looks like you made your decision then, partner!
Shit. Damn tree. Okay. Squatters are dealt with. Very nice. Damn. Čia vakaras ar čia audra pareit, what the fuck. Ok. Ah, it's you! The man with two names and no pants. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Ok. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place. It's really run down and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. How I need the money. It is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and... Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> okay. You got a whore? Follow me. I'm calling, huh? Just bought this place. You're 
lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. <laughs> this is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. <laughs> Köszönöm szépen!